Ah, Nova Warp. What a beautiful super. And I'm sure you think so too. But if you're here, then I'm assuming it might not go the best when you try to use it. Well, that's okay. Nova Warp can be a very difficult super to get the hang of. But today, I'm going to break down how to move while in your Nova Warp, and then after that, I'll give you some tips on how to best utilize your Nova Warp. So, let's start by hopping in game and I'll show you how to get much more precise movement. So we can stop you from smacking into all those walls. Alright, so we're just in game here on Bannerfall, and it's actually pretty simple. Now, a lot of the time, I think what people are doing is something similar to this. They're going into their Nova Warp and they're thinking they just need to jump and use all their shifts and just shift around. But that's just going to use your super energy really quickly. You can't keep doing that. That's going to use a lot of your super energy, so we want to limit the amount of shifts we're going to use. And a great way to do that is, of course, utilizing your blink at the same exact time. So that's what we want to mix in. Now, we could also just blink, but what you want to do is take your shifts and your blinks together, and that's going to give you as fast of a Nova Warp as you possibly can. So, let's say we want to get to that doorway again. We're going to jump, shift, blink, shift, blink, and we just went right through there. Now, this is what I'm trying to show you. Whatever direction you're shifting in, you're going to blink in. So you saw right there. So if we're shifting right and then we blink, we're going to go that direction as well. And that is what's going to give you the very precise movement when you're in your Nova Warp. You need to remember that. And if you want to instantly turn to your right or turn to your left or turn around, all you need to do is shift into that direction and then blink and you'll go that exact direction. So let's say we want to get to the power amp as quickly as possible. We could shift, blink, shift, blink, and we're almost there already. Now, of course, you're only going to have your two blinks, but then you can start using more shifts. You can blink straight up as well and do that. And that could get you up somewhere high. Just by blinking straight up is a good way to get some height in your Nova Warp if you want to do something like that. Because a lot of times you actually can fall on people's heads and they won't really see you coming in the Nova Warp. A good place to use that is actually over here. If you're on control or something with a flag, straight over here is going to be B flag. So if you wanted to, one of my favorite things to do is blink straight through here. And when I land about right here, I pop my Nova Warp. That's going to give barely any time for reaction from the enemies, and you could just take them out. Now, once you're here, there might be a lot of people down here. So you jump, blink, shift, and then we can keep going. Now, be careful with that second blink. You need to make sure you're using that sparingly, because it could get you screwed over if you don't have that second blink ready. But you can blink up, shift, and blink, and get quite a bit of distance, and fall on somebody's head and take them out really easily. So, keep that in mind. That's how you get those really precise movements with your Nova Warp. It's by using the shifts together with it. So again, we want to get all the way over there. Let's not even look. Let's blink straight up. Let's shift. Let's blink. And we made it all the way over here. So, use your shifts. Follow it up with a blink. And you'll be going real quick wherever you want to go. And you'll do it way more precisely than I'm sure you've been doing it. Okay, now that we've covered how to move with your Nova Warp, I wanted to cover some extra tips that people don't always know or think about. You should notice that I will have footage playing all through the rest of the video of me using Nova Warp, so keep your eye on that while I talk to see how I use it in case you're more of a visual learner. To start off, I want to talk about when you first pop your super. When you do pop, you will get a burst of damage equal to your fully charged hit of your Nova Warp. So, most of the time, my strategy is to blink directly next to an enemy and then pop my Nova Warp to secure a free kill right off the bat. Think of it as instead of shooting a Nova Bomb, you are the Nova Bomb. This can be risky as Nova Warp only has a damage reduction of 51%, which is lower than any other roaming super in the game. And, if you use Nova Warp for any amount of time, you will certainly notice this fact. Often after the movement, the hardest part of Nova Warp is just staying alive. You can be incredibly mobile, but as soon as you need to charge that attack, things will get hairy. So, you need to make sure that before you charge up an attack, that you are properly positioned. Part of this is recognizing that Nova Warp actually has a pretty great range, and utilizing that range is a big part of finding success with this super. My goal is often to get an enemy at the edge of the blast radius before I start to charge, and by the time you let the blast off, you will most likely still be alive to secure a kill or two. A lot of this is going to come down to muscle memory. Over time, you will learn the exact range of the super and be able to quickly analyze and plan your trajectory and where you will start to charge a blast. Now, there are some other tools that can be added, and some are even built into Nova Warp to help you survive as you use it. If you were unaware, when you get a kill with Nova Warp, it will give you a small heal. Nothing monumental, but enough that most of the time you will probably get another blast off, but not always. If you want to secure another blast of your super, then you still want to pair it with Devour. 
Nova Warp counts as any other Void ability, so on kill, it will proc your Devour and fully heal you. This is something that Nova Warp was missing before Void 3.0 was released, but now that you compare the two together, they are an absolute monster. I have used this pairing about 90% of the time I've played since Witch Queen's release, and I would recommend never running Nova Warp without Devour. You can certainly find success without it, but with it, you will be quite the force of nature. Now, I want to touch back on when to pop your Nova Warp. As I said before, the best time to pop your Nova Warp is directly onto an enemy for an instant kill, but you need to do that in the correct way. If you just run at an enemy and try to pop, you might die on the way there, or die right after the super goes off and waste it. What you want to do is to find an enemy that is slightly around a corner or a wall. Now, if you're a shotgun player, then this will feel very natural to you. A lot of the time you'll slide around the corner and shotgun your enemy. This is a very similar technique. Slide around a corner or wall and pop on your enemy. Taking them by surprise like this will often net you that perfect first kill or two. Another tactic is to blink directly next to an enemy and pop as soon as you exit your blink. This also works very well, but you need to make sure you pop as soon as you exit that blink or else you might find yourself in trouble. Alternatively, to those, you can also pop your Nova Warp outside of combat. This is something I rarely do as I really like to take advantage of that initial pop damage but it's by no means a terrible idea. Sometimes you have no choice but to pop outside of combat, because if you pop in front of your enemies, they will shred you down before your super even goes off. Just make sure if you do this, to use your movement I taught you to get to your enemies and take them out. One last little thing I want to mention is remember that you can throw your grenades in your super. This may sound strange, but it can often come in handy, especially with the new vortex grenades. Throw one at an enemy as you approach them, and they will suck them towards you and let you get on top of them easier to kill them. They may even be low enough from the grenade that you can kill them with a lesser charge burst. You could even scatter nade someone and hit them with a lesser burst to kill them. The last thing I want to mention is to be very careful when trying to fight other supers. Most of the time you will lose. One way I have found that you can beat other supers is by popping on them with the initial burst and then you can usually get one more burst off and it will kill. Otherwise, you're better off just not challenging them. And with that, those are all of the tips and tricks I can give you for Nova Warp. If any of this was helpful to you, then you could help me out by leaving a like and a comment. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more content, then feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload in the future. I put out daily Blink content and love doing it, so feel free to join the community. For now, I gotta go Nova Warp on some poor saps in the Crucible. Have a great day, Guardians.